How's it going guys? Today we're gonna to be comparing buying a used iPhone through eBay versus back market. These are probably two of the biggest websites for buying used iPhones and today we're gonna to be comparing my experiences from buying used iPhones from both of them. So this iPhone is a 6S. I bought it about two years ago from eBay and I just so happened to make an entire review on this phone and the whole experience I had with buying it. And then this phone was the one I bought through back market and I, I also made an entire video on that one. And this is an iPhone XR if you're wondering. So basically today we're gonna to be comparing the eBay versus the back market experience and trying to figure out which way you should go. Basically, what company should you be giving your money to? That's what we're gonna be trying to answer today. So first we're gonna be looking at the eBay phone and we're gonna be looking at my old unboxing of this actually, but I'm still gonna, I'm gonna come back in a minute and describe all the important stuff. So anyways, let's rewind like two years and uh, see how this experience went. So this whole process started on eBay, of course, for the iPhone on success, I found some company that had a ton of reviews, which is very important. And I think the company is called like Smarter Phones or something. I'll have a thing pop up down below if I was wrong. But anyways, I checked out their company. I bought a refurbished phone from them and they accidentally sent me a used phone. So the first phone I got was kind of junk and yeah, you'll get to see that. It has arrived. And as you guys can hear, um, kind of concerned. So let's unbox this. Okay, so like I said, I could hear some rattling in the box, so I'm slightly concerned. So I'm gonna unbox this and see if it's broken. So looking at it, they say the battery's tested, 100% functionality, uh, SIM unlocked, up to one year warranty. And like I said, I have three months. So I'm noticing like a weird circle around the Apple assembly right now probably from someone putting an otter box on this or a protective case and um, the sun may have got to that more. Which honestly is a good thing because whoever had this phone previously had a case on it, so that's cool. So it comes in a bag and pull it out real quick. Ooh, that feels nice. It definitely has some weight to it and this is all a sticker. Um, let's see, peel this off. That was satisfying. Okay, so I'm kind of just looking for scratches and I see a scratch right there that's pretty prominent. Um, I'm gonna see if it turns on here and see if I can see it. Oh, it's dead, so that's nice. But overall it feels nice and there's no uh, cracks on the screen that I can see. This looks a bit clogged, so. That's that's kind of gross, but uh, I should be able to fix that and like if need be I can just replace this whole screen Let's look at the ports um, We have a few scratches down here nothing big uh, The microphone seems to be clogged up with lint most of the speakers do too So this is probably what I heard rattling around we have navy cords the picture was black, but uh, I don't really care. I have a bunch of other ones and I probably won't even use theirs, but it does come with the phone, which is nice. And your SIM tool, no headphones. I don't really want used headphones anyways, but overall it was pretty nice like packaging experience for a used phone. Okay, so overall the phone isn't bad, but they do advertise that there may be scratches on the screen, but they're not visible when the screen is on. But if you guys can see that, that is a pretty noticeable scratch in the screen. And personally, that would drive me insane if I had to stare at that all day. Um, I checked the battery health and it is at 86%, which is pretty bad as well. Um, there's also some things I'm noticing now, like those are kind of junked up. I think I already talked about this, but they're junked up pretty good. So I think I'm honestly going to ask if they can uh, return this for me and if I can get a new one with no scratches on the screen just because they advertised um, it shouldn't have that. But other than that, like it runs fine and um, it's not trashed. I'm sure it would be a fine phone, but I'm hoping I could do better and I just feel like 
if they advertise that you can't see it on the screen when it's on, then that's the way it should be. So I'm gonna see if I can return this. So the good news is after that phone, I contacted the company and they gave me a 20% off discount to buy my next phone. So I got fully refunded for that one and got a 20% off for my next iPhone success, which actually came in refurbished, which is, it's a big difference. Used, refurbished, completely different. Used means that someone just gave their phone up and the company sold it as is. Where refurbished, someone probably broke it and the company fixed it up, hopefully with Apple parts, and you're getting almost a new phone. It's gonna have way better quality, less scratches on the screen, all that jazz. So now let's take a look at the refurbished phone that they sent me. Let's try this again. So this is part two of the unboxing of my refurbished iPhone from eBay. On part one, I had a phone that had a pretty big scratch on the front, even though they advertised that there would be no visible scratches when the screen was on. So I went ahead and returned that and bought this phone and let's unbox it. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay, so they bubble wrapped it this time and we have a slightly different case. So um, something I realized, the last phone I bought technically was used. They put the wrong tag in the eBay title, saying that it was manufactured refurbished when in reality, that was a used phone. This one should be actually refurbished. So I guess we'll find out. The bubble wrap is kind of like sticky, but same thing. The phone has the big sticker on the front. So let's go ahead and get in this case. Uh, I'm kind of like worried. I don't want to scratch the case. Okay, so now this just opens up. And I would like to say that this company gave me 10% off this phone because of the experience of the last one. So that is really cool. It definitely uh, kind of proves my point that buying from a bigger company is a better idea because they're more willing to help you out because they want to keep their name good. So here's the phone and let's peel this sticker. Okay, so I don't see any blaring enormous scratches, which is nice, and this up here is not clogged full of dirt like last time. Um, the bottom, I mean, there's definitely less wear on this phone. I mean, you can see like some lint and stuff in some of these, but like that's basically normal. This phone is in pretty good condition. We got some scratches up here, if it'll focus. I guess it's not gonna focus, but there are a few scratches up there, nothing big, and um, nothing I'd be worried about. The phone, I'm trying to see if it's bent, I don't think so. It looks pretty straight. So the back um, definitely has a little bit of wear, but I mean, I'm gonna put a case on it anyways. So I guess we just need to see if it turns on. But other than that, this definitely looks better than the last phone. One thing I'm gonna check See if these screws have been used a bunch. So once again, I got some navy blue accessories. Wish they were black, but oh well. Um, another sim thing. I guess it doesn't look like it's been scratched up. So sweet. It's actually charged. That is really nice. My last one was like dead on the spot. Probably because the battery was at 86%. See, oh, no free SIM card. I was half expecting someone to have accidentally left their SIM card in there. But anyways, I'm gonna set this phone up and then we're gonna go check out the battery. Okay, so I just put my case on it. This is the OtterBox Symmetry case, Cosmic Edition. Um, so let's go find our battery settings. So our battery health is at 86%, which I think is the same percent my last phone was at. So we'll see how that does. Um, I can always replace an iPhone 6S battery, no problem. I've done that a few times. So I kind of planned on having to do that eventually with a refurbished phone. And it only costs like another like 20 or $30, maybe less by now. But overall, this phone is definitely in a lot better condition. And I'm definitely happy to have a good screen with like no scratches. The screen must be like brand new because there's like literally not one scratch on it. 
So I will say the experience with the refurbished phone was phenomenal. The quality of the phone was great. I could find barely any damage on the phone itself. The screen was flawless, which is very important when you're buying a used phone. And the speakers were good, the mic was good. It was all set. This company did offer me a three month warranty and I ended up using this phone for about two years and it worked great. And I'm gonna go over the warranties at the very end when I compare this phone to the back market phone. But overall, the eBay experience was pretty good. It only took me two phones to get one that was worth keeping and they were always very fast to respond. Shipping times weren't bad and I felt like they were being honest with me. Foreshadowing? Maybe. All right, so now the time that you've all been waiting for the back market experience. Back market is all over YouTube. They're spending so much money on YouTube ads right now. It is literally insane, but it's a decent company. They have a very beautiful website, I will say. It just makes you want to spend money. But anyways, let's go into the unboxing of the iPhone XR from back market. All right, before that, I forgot to mention, it took me five phones to get one that like was in the condition that they described. So I'm not gonna show you all five unboxings. I think I don't think anyone wants that, but I'll show you the first unboxing. They're basically all the same. All right, so this is what my box looks like. Yours may look a little different because there are different sellers on back market. So just because you order the same phone doesn't mean you'll have the same seller. They may package it differently. They may give you more accessories, they may not. So let's go ahead and open up this one. Okay, so when we open it, we have the phone. We have the red one, which is what I ordered, so good. Also in the box, we get a lightning cable. It's not the Apple one, but it is certified to work for iPhone. And then again, we don't have an Apple adapter, but we do have a new one. Okay, so that was very difficult, but I got it out. It just appears to be a standard wall adapter. This one has a maximum output of 2.4 amps max which may be a little bit less than what you would get with the actual iPhone. They give us a SIM card retrieval tool, so we'll be able to actually use that. And in here, I guess we have just support for this company. They give us some simple instructions on how to use the SIM, and that's about it that comes in the box. All right, so let's go ahead and open up. Oh my, I have a puppy now, and she's very entertained with the bubble wrap. She's trying to bite it. Okay, so this is the iPhone. First thing I notice is that it's cracked right here. This is a little disappointing because this is actually the most visually appealing used phone that they had supposedly. There are three different options, good, great, and then like perfection, something like that. Different words, but that type of deal. This one, you weren't supposed to see any scratches from a arm's length away or four arms length away. From very far away, I can see that there's a crack here and here, and I think just those two. There are several cracks on the phone screen as well, so that's pretty disappointing. They aren't deep, they're more like scratches, but you weren't supposed to even be able to see that from this distance. And you can also see that the screen does have some damage right there. If you guys look down here, there's actually some scratches on that screw, which means that this phone has probably been serviced. Most likely is a third party battery in it as well. Um, I am definitely gonna be contacting the company because this is pretty disappointing because I paid about $40 extra to get one that shouldn't have any scratches. So now I'm just gonna have to wait an even longer time to get a phone that's usable. This screen definitely has some issues. Very noticeable. So I don't think these were even inspected. All right, so after a month, I got a phone that worked. It took me five tries, like I was saying. I tried different sellers and different conditions. Don't ever buy a phone in fair condition on back market. They're gonna be crap. They might not even work when you get them, but the good news is they have like a 30 day money back guarantee and they, they do hold up to that. So time wise, when we're comparing both of these phones, this one took about two weeks, the eBay phone, and then the back market one took about a month for me to get one that actually worked and was as described. Either way, it's gonna come down to the actual seller on eBay and back market. Basically the way this works is you have the main company and then these little branches that branch off of the main company. There are these sellers, people like me per se, that come in and they have a ton of phones and they just wanna sell them. They're now a seller and they abide by eBay or back market rules. The problem is some of these companies don't do a good job at monitoring their third party sellers. Pretty sure eBay does a better job at having quality control for their sellers, but back market, they don't have a great way of controlling their sellers. I've noticed a lot of sellers on back market not holding their items up to the standard that they say in the description. Like you're not gonna see a scratch from an arm's length away, 
but I'll get the screen and there'll be a giant white hole in it. I've had phones with broken mics. I've had phones with huge chips out of the screen. Some of the sellers on back market don't even check their phones. So you have to be careful with what seller you choose, regardless if you're on eBay or back market. All right, so one of the most important things when you're buying a used phone is the warranty. Now back market gives you a one year warranty no matter what you buy from them. And it is amazing because that is usually pretty pricey to get. If you buy a new Apple product, you get basically the same warranty. It is standard a year. And I think it's a really good idea for the company because people can trust buying a phone from someone that offers such a long warranty. Usually means that they trust their product enough that it's gonna work for a year. eBay on the other hand is gonna vary seller by seller and the one seller that I used, Smarter Phones, they gave me a three month warranty, but I bought an extra warranty through Square Trade, only costing me $40. So when it comes down to cost, you might be a little cheaper on back market just because of the warranty. Because on eBay, unless if you have like some amazing seller with a crazy warranty, you're gonna be paying for a warranty. Now, when it comes to customer support, and I, you're probably rolling your eyes right now, like why, why would I care about customer support? but you're gonna care when you get a phone that doesn't work. It's not always gonna happen, but when it does happen, you want good customer support. eBay was amazing. I told them what problem I had and they gave me a 20% off discount without me begging for anything. They were just like, hey, yeah, we're gonna give you 20% off because that was our mess up. We want you to have a positive experience. And I had a great experience. They saved me some money and I got a good phone. Back market on the other hand, it took me five phones to get one that worked and customer support was very sketch. First of all, when you contact support, you're gonna be talking to the seller first and there are ways to contact back market itself, but it's a little different and you have to do it through email. Most of the time is what I see. But anyways, after I had my first problem with back market, I contacted them and they offered me a 5% off coupon. Not 20%, but 5%. Can't argue with that, it's still a nice discount, nice offer. Problem is the actual seller told me that I shouldn't buy a new phone, I should just ask for a replacement through them because it would supposedly be faster. But back market, the actual company told me the opposite. Now the reason the seller said this was because they wanted me to give them business. They didn't want me to find a new seller and get that 5% off discount. So they lied to me. They told me it would be faster when in reality, I bought a phone at the same time and I asked for the replacement at the same exact time. And it took it like a week for me to get their phone and then a couple days for the new phone I bought. It was just a complete lie. And I know why they're doing it. It's because they don't want to miss out on the money to be made. So the overall experience on back market was not great. I got refunded on everything, but one phone for now. And I that's a work in the progress, but it was just a pretty upsetting experience. eBay, I had the one mishap and they made me happy. They gave me a good phone. So when it comes to quality, at least for my situation, eBay was definitely better. Back market, still a good company, I guess but eBay, the seller that I had, did a phenomenal job. If I have any advice for you today, it will be check your seller. Make sure that they have a ton of reviews and a lot of good reviews. The reason you wanna find a seller that sells a lot of phones is because they're making more money, so if they mess up once, they're gonna be way more likely to help you and give you discounts to make you happy. Something else to consider is Apple sells used phones, and if you wanna get a really good used phone, may cost a bit more, but it's from Apple, so they're gonna do a good job. Check them out, it's something I haven't tried, but a lot of people have been commenting about it, so it might be worth your time. I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are probably looking for the cut and try answer, who is better, and I'm just gonna leave it open-ended. You guys have to decide, because it completely relies on the actual seller on eBay or back market. The good news is about eBay is that the reviews seem a little less sketch. Sometimes some of the back market reviews seem like they could be faked, so that's one thing to consider. That is all alleged, by the way, so don't don't quote me on that, but just something that people have noticed. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good experience buying your used phone. Hopefully it was better than my experience. I think I was just really unlucky throughout the entire process. If you guys found this video useful, make sure you guys drop a like down below. It helps support the channel out a ton. And go ahead and subscribe down below for more content just like this. And anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video.